Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In our last video, we discussed about MS and ECE with a focus on VLSI. I gave you an overview of best universities, job opportunities, salary insights and more. If you haven't watched it yet, I'll leave a link in the description. Make sure you check it out. After that video went live, we were flooded with calls and messages from aspirants of VLSI uh, to apply for masters in USA and we had phenomenal results. For example, an NVIDIA employee made it into Columbia University and USD, an AMD engineer made it into NCSU and USC and many graduates from across India uh, made it into good reputed universities for VLSI. That leads to a very interesting question. Why uh, employees from top companies like NVIDIA and AMD applying for masters in VLSI abroad? Well, in today's video, I'm going to answer all these questions and many other questions uh, that VLSI aspirants like you ask me. So let's dive in. The first question is, is VLSI a good stream for a high paying job and a stable career? The short answer is yes, but let me explain why. VLSI is seeing an incredible demand today uh, many students uh, are choosing to pursue MS in Electrical or Computer Engineering with a VLSI specialization over MS in Computer Science, which used to be a go-to for everyone. Well, why the shift, you ask? It is because of the AI boom. Companies today are investing massively into chip design, which are optimized for high-performance computing. It's not just traditional chip design companies like NVIDIA, AMD or Intel. It's also software companies like uh, Microsoft, Amazon and Google which are investing in chip design to optimize for their own AI models. As AI is becoming part of our lives in companies, governments and our homes, the demand for chip designers is only going to boom. So yes, a master's in VLSI is a great investment for a stable career at least for the next 10 to 20 years. The second most common question I get is which are the best countries for a master's in VLSI? To answer that, we have to see where the most chip design firms are concentrated. And USA tops that list, hands down. It has the highest density of chip design firms and the highest paying average salary for chip designers. Apart from US, we see a strong presence of chip design firms in South Korea, Taiwan, Europe, China and of course, India. Especially India has seen a massive boom in chip design firms, especially over the last decade, thanks to both MNCs like AMD, Micron, NVIDIA, etc. and many homegrown chip design firms. So the next obvious question is, if India has so many good jobs, why even study abroad? That's a good question and it's more of a personal decision for students and working professionals. For working professionals, the motivation is better exposure and deeper learning. In India, we often get outsourced work, whereas abroad, you get to work directly hands-on on the cutting-edge projects. The second is, of course, financial stability. Um, you, In countries like US, you get to earn more, save more, and build a better financial base early in your career. And the next question is, do I need some sort of experience in VLSI to get a job in the US after my master's degree? Work experience definitely helps and there is no denying that. You got relevant skills, a proven track record and often land jobs much faster after graduating. But here's the good news, because of the current high demand, I've seen many graduate students without work experience land jobs with the right prep, of course. If you are a current undergrad student or let's say a recent graduate, I highly recommend uh, enrolling in VLSI uh, institutes like you know Veda IIT or Maven Silicon, Moschip, etc. These institutes help you explore stuff like what are ASICs design, what is physical design, etc. Et and get hands-on skills with EDA tools like Synopsys, Cadence, etc. And uh, build industry relevant skills uh, by working on live projects. In fact, here's a secret, a senior design engineer from NVIDIA actually told me that such projects and experiences at VLSI institutes might help you get your internships or job opportunities faster. So to wrap it up, VLSI is not just worth it, it's one of the most promising fields at least for the next decade or two. Countries like US are the hotspots for career growth and innovation, but not just US, many countries are investing billions and billions of dollars in booming this in industry. Prior experience does help, but with right preparation, you can still make it into good master's programs and get jobs later on. And like I said, this is not just for fresh graduates, working professionals from big MNCs and local design firms are still choosing to go for master's abroad. 
Don't forget to check out the part one of this video. If you haven't, the link is in the description below. So if you're looking to pursue masters in VLSI abroad, uh, and if you need help with university shortlisting, SOPs, getting your applications together, and also applying for visas, our team has done it multiple times and we are here to help you. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. We'll answer every single one. See you in the next video.